for uh, www.pastorpaulgold.com. That's www.pastorpaulgold.com. You see, gold has been an unstoppable run lately. Gold is a biblical currency. It has gone up now more than 81% in the last five years, almost 20% in the last year. It is happening, guys. Central banks are ditching the dollar and the U.S. treasuries, and they're buying more gold. The good news is it is predicted to go up even more because of this, this shift. The UBS even said it would go up to $5,000 an ounce. Noble Gold Investments. Their phone has been ringing nonstop. Everyone wants to protect their retirement with gold. And you can do the same. Matter of fact, if you go to www.pastorpaulgold.com or pick up the phone and call them at 877-646-5347, um, Noble Gold Investments can help you secure some gold to protect your future. From every day, you ever, think about it, every day you've ever worked, from day one, you work with the same dedicated, all-American uh, expert, no doubt about it. So whether you're a beginner or an experienced investor, Noble Gold Investment will make sure you get all the help you need. And they're giving away this, one quarter of an ounce. This is a pure gold coin, gold standard coin. It's one quarter of an ounce, worth over $700 at this moment. They'll give this to you for free. Simply get a hold of them. Go to PastorPaulGold.com. Or pick up the phone and call them at 877-646-5347 and tell them that Pastor Paul Begley sent you there. Tensions escalated in the South China Sea as Beijing claimed to have intercepted a U.S. destroyer it accused of, quote, trespassing in the region. The USS Halsey reportedly sailed near an island known as the Scarborough Shoal a disputed territory claimed by China. China's Southern Theater Command tracked and monitored the U.S. ship, warning it to leave, citing violations of sovereignty and security, the Daily Express reported. The incident sparked accusations from China that the United States was a, quote, security risk creator and accused it of attempting to, quote, militarize the region. The South China Sea, crucial for shipping routes and with rich natural resources, is also claimed by Vietnam, Malaysia, the Philippines, and Taiwan, in addition to China. The world is experiencing an alarming series of apocalyptic events, historic weather disasters, earthquakes, droughts, wildfires, impending economic collapse, the rise of AI. In Revelation 9-11, Pastor Paul Begley and Pulitzer-nominated journalist Troy Anderson investigate if these are the true signs of the end times. Is this the final meeting of current events and prophecy referred to in the Bible? Revelation 9-11. Order it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Target.com. A massive solar flare from Sunspot Region AR-3664 has struck Earth, causing significant disruptions to high-frequency radio signals across Asia, Eastern Europe, and Eastern Africa. This X-3.98 flare is the largest yet from AR-3664 and ranks as the fourth largest of the solar cycle. Solar flares are powerful bursts of electromagnetic radiation, categorized by size, X-class flares being the most potent. The flare also generated a coronal mass ejection, also known as a CME, a release of plasma and magnetic fields from the sun, Space.com is reporting. This event follows closely on the heels of heightened solar activity from sunspots AR3664 and AR366, prompting NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center to issue a G4 geomagnetic storm watch for the weekend.
Two senior Border Patrol officials are under investigation for their relationship with a wealthy Mexican tequila maker who hoped to create a Border Patrol branded tequila. The officials, Jason Owens and Gloria Chavez, allegedly partied with Francisco Javier Gonzalez, the tequila maker, raising concerns about disclosure of contact with a foreign national and potential ethical violations. The Customs and Border Protection Office of Professional Responsibility is investigating. Photos posted on social media showed Owens and Chavez with Gonzalez at his distillery complex in Jalisco, Mexico. Discussions about creating a Border Patrol branded tequila for the agency's 100th anniversary were reportedly held, NBC News has reported. However, the project has been suspended due to the investigation. The CBP expressed confidence in its leaders but emphasized accountability and integrity. The agency's upcoming 100th anniversary celebration in El Paso, Texas is still on track despite controversy surrounding the agency in recent years, including allegations of sexual misconduct and questionable procurement practices.